Vahe Nadi itself, Vahe is uh, wondrous and Nadi is the river. It's our ode to uh, human potential. We believe that human potential is like the river. Uh, it, uh, even though there are, you know, blocks and uh, uh, obstacles and so on that come in the way, the river still flows. It still has a beginning, it has its journey and it gets to the ocean and, you know, joins the ocean. And so we believe that we also have that same potential. So when you say uh, mental well-being, uh, I guess it's, it's, a, it's a very broad uh, term. Uh, what are the different, uh, uh, different activities or different uh, aspects of mental well-being uh, that you, I guess, specialize in or touch upon? Um, so we, we focus on uh, our internal resources. The, what we do is we, uh, what we believe that we're doing is facilitating the recognition of our own inner resources because we are the best resources we have. I mean, we don't need anything really else. It's just that because of this world that we are in, which is like, you know, it's constantly uh, changing. It's, it's what they call the VUCA world or, you know, what is, we're constantly connected. Yeah. Right? We're constantly under pressure. Yeah. Uh, we're cons there is constantly information that is, too much information now. Yeah, like right. Is, all of all thing. of that kind of stuff, and so we're finding it's difficult for us to focus and yeah. you know really get in touch with ourselves, connect with ourselves to know how awesome we are. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's how I see it. So, yeah. so that's how we. I mean, our our programs are facilitated that way. Okay. Um, we make them as experiential and as yeah. somatic, as in as body oriented, body mind uh, connection as possible. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Archie, you wanna add stuff? Well, that's classic <laughs> Seema for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you will get when you see do a program with her. Pretty <laughs> awesome it is. Yeah. Um, just to add that element. Um, I think just to add, for take from what Seema is saying, I think what's happening is with the constant change that's happening in the world, the volatility that exists. Uh, today there is something is happening, tomorrow something else, then there is the pandemic now which has shaken mm -hmm. us up all up. There is a sense of prevalent threat, which is either threat to, a, right now the threat is about the existence itself, but I think there is a prevalent threat that we have unconsciously also been feeling, you yeah. know, and that brings up issues like stress, that brings up issues like anxiety, that brings up issues like, um, you know, a lack of focus and attention. Um, yeah. Our fundamental idea is um, any challenge that comes to us. So we look at, in fact, one of the refining that we have done is to look at it from a metaphor of how a pearl is created, okay. right? When, a, when something goes and inside a mollusk or an oyster, you know, the thing, it goes inside, the, apparently the skin of the uh, oyster melts, secretes something called nacre, and then it goes, revolves around that, uh, that thing that has come and irritated the mollusk. And that's how pearls are created. So it, our job, the way we see it, or our job is to facilitate we becoming that maker for ourselves. Wow. So that oh, we can create a pearl yeah. out of the challenge or we can just go completely berserk because there's a challenge <laughs> that's yeah. existed. And the challenge can be anything. It can be a complete sense of no attention. It can be a sense of fear. It can be a sense of uh, frustration, stress. Pick yeah. one because there is <laughs> enough, I think, in that space to actually... Um, and that's our fundamental focus, uh, okay. and whether it's corporate work or whether it's uh, individual work, we are fundamentally focusing from this space as far as violent. And that's where the, what she talks about, finding the internal resources is that finding the nacre to create wow. the pearl out of any challenge that you're actually addressing. 